And now, Dave Hughes. Thank you. What a great night we're having. Tell you what, I'm feeling very, very generous. Not really sure why. <laughs> Can't find my credit card though, you know? <laughs> yeah, ha ha ha. Credit card theft's really funny, isn't it? Yeah. He's on TV, you can treat him with no respect. That's bullshit, all right? I got no respect the other day, true story, walking along, along the street, a woman said, oh, oh, it's, it's you. I said, yes, it is. <laughs> then she said, you know, you look a lot older in real life. I said, really, and I'm a lot meaner too, so piss off your mole. <laughs> Didn't actually say that, let's be honest. I said, uh-huh, thanks. <laughs> It's great to be here. It's, uh, you know, it's interesting though that we can get disrespected. I got disrespected by Shane Warne of all people recently. True story, I was interviewing Shane Warne for the project. We had a great interview, it was all going good. At the end of it though, he said, ah, oh, why are you wearing those jeans? And these are the, these jeans that I was wearing. He said, skinny leg jeans, you're too old to be wearing them. You know how confronting it is when Warney tells you to act your age, you know? <laughs> Seriously. Honestly, they'd be like, it's like, you know, Ben Cousins saying, back off on the coffee, man. <laughs> it's like, Warwick Cabba going, uh, read a few more books, dickhead. <laughs> it's like, bloody Ricky Nixon going, mate, can you be less of a massive knob end? <laughs> I love being on the TV, I do, but you know, I've got a couple of kids, so it's not easy, you know, uh, but uh, my two year old son doesn't even watch the show, that's disrespectful. He'd rather watch bloody the door of the Explorer. I'm like, she's paying the rent, is she, mate? Is she? He'd rather watch the Wiggles. I said, oh yeah, get your bloody, get your morals from them, do you? Be careful, they'll stab you in the back. <laughs> ah, well, what about the poor old yellow Wiggle doing a great job and then he's bloody out the door? We had actually had one of the other Wiggles on the bloody project, and he said, oh yeah, there wasn't enough room in the big red car. <laughs> I wanted to say, you make $20 million a year, buy a new one, you bloody wanker, you know? <laughs> well, good on them, and good on them. They're entertaining children, yeah? I've got two of them, and they need a lot of entertaining. <laughs> Honestly, God, kids are hard work. I had no idea. Before I had kids, I'd see a guy who was gonna have a vasectomy, and I'd say, why, man? Now I'm like, just cut it off. <laughs> They just, they're there the whole time. They never leave. That's why I work so much. <laughs> I, do, I, work, I do radio in the mornings, I work TV at night, and you know, I understand that the, the hard work happens at home, but I'm there on the weekends. My wife doesn't give me bloody any favours though. Like a few Saturday mornings ago, I'm sitting in the kitchen, all right? I'm reading the newspaper, the kids are there, they're around. I'm being a dad. I'm doing the right thing. Well, I thought I was. I looked up from reading the newspaper and my wife's looking at me and said, you're an asshole." I said, honey, there's a man in there who's murdered his whole family. He's an asshole. <laughs> no, I do. I love my kids. I really do. <laughs> Two-year-old though, he won't, he gives me nothing. We, he doesn't even bloody, he doesn't want to know me. We were at Doncaster Shopping Centre a little while ago. And like my wife said, I want to go to Big W. Are you going to be right with him? I'm like, yeah, I'm 40, he's two. I've got this covered. <laughs> go to Big W, buy heaps of cheap electrical stuff. Buy 30 DVD players, because they're only seven bucks each. <laughs> God, electrical equipment's cheap, isn't it? Anyway, that's just, it is. Uh, <laughs> okay, you're all right. Thanks for that round of applause. <laughs> Seriously though, she went to Big W and he was playing on a little bit of equipment or whatever and he looked around after about 15 seconds and mummy wasn't there and he's cracked. He said, mummy, mummy, start screaming. About 50 people start looking at him. I pick him up to bloody comfort him. He treats me like I'm abducting him. <laughs> 200 people staring at me, he doesn't want to know me. I said, look at them, mate. They all know me. <laughs> no, no. God, you are a great crowd. <laughs> I, don't you love TV now, all the free channels, except one I don't like, SBS Radio. You are not a TV channel. <laughs> Stop freaking me out. Where are your pictures? 
God, you are a great crowd. <laughs> I'm going to go, have a great night. Good on you, everyone. Thank you.